five carrier strike groups to CCP's backyard. What it means? Intro. Hey there, and welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today, we're going to be talking about the U.S. Navy's recent deployment of five carrier strike groups to the Indo-Pacific region, right in China's backyard. This is a major development, and it has serious implications for the future of the region. So, why is the U.S. doing this? Well, it's no secret that tensions have been rising between the U.S. and China in recent years, particularly over issues like Taiwan and the South China Sea. CCP has been increasingly assertive in these areas, and the U.S. is concerned that it may be planning to make a move on Taiwan. The deployment of these carrier strike groups is a clear signal to China that the U.S. is not going to stand idly by if it tries to change the status quo in the region. It's a show of force, and it's meant to deter China from taking any aggressive action, but it's not just about CCP. The U.S. is also concerned about Russia's growing presence in the Pacific. Russia has been expanding its military capabilities in the region, and it has been conducting joint exercises with China. The U.S. is worried that Russia and China could form a united front against the U.S. and its allies. The deployment of these carrier strike groups is a way to counter Russia's growing influence in the region. It's a way to show Russia that the U.S. is still the dominant power in the Pacific and that it will not tolerate any attempts to challenge its position. Analysis. So, what does this mean for the future of the region? Well, it's hard to say for sure, but it's clear that the U.S. is taking a more aggressive stance. In the Indo-Pacific, this is a significant shift in U.S. foreign policy, and it could have major implications for the region. One possibility is that this deployment will lead to a new Cold War between the U.S. and China. The two countries are already competing for influence in the region, and this deployment could further escalate tensions. Another possibility is that this deployment will help to prevent a war between the U.S. and China by showing China that it is prepared to use force. The U.S. may be able to deter China from taking any aggressive action. It's also important to note that this deployment is not just about China and Russia. It's also about the U.S.'s commitment to the region. The U.S. has been the dominant power in the Indo-Pacific for decades, and it is not going to give up that position without a fight. Unique insights. One deterrence against China. The deployment of carrier strike groups sends a clear signal to China that the U.S. will defend its interests in the region and respond to any challenges to countering the Sino-Russian alliance. The carrier strike groups are not only targeted at China but also Russia, which has been seeking to expand its influence in the Pacific. Three pressure in China and Russia by demonstrating its military might. The U.S. is putting pressure on China and Russia to refrain from further aggressive actions. For protecting Taiwan, the carrier strike groups can provide protection for Taiwan in the event of an attack by China. Five maintaining the first island chain. The deployment. Of carrier strike groups helps the U.S. maintain control of the first island chain, which is a key part of its strategic defense line in the Indo-Pacific. Intelligence: The deployment of five carrier strike groups by the U.S. Navy in the Indo-Pacific is based on the following intelligence: one, China's aggressive actions in the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea; two, Russia's war in Ukraine and nuclear threats; three, the formation of the Sino-Russian alliance. Conclusion: The deployment of these Carrier strike groups is a major development, and it has serious implications for the future of the Indo-Pacific region. It's a sign that the U.S. is taking a more aggressive stance in the region, and it could lead to a new Cold War between the U.S. and China. However, it's also possible that this deployment will help to prevent a war between the two countries. Only time will tell what the future holds. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash. That subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.